What's up, what's up? It's your boy AD, and that's all day in the spot. Finna talk about some real things. Finna talk about the Wonder Woman movie that just recently came out. Finna make a quick mix out video about this movie because I know it's a lot of guys out here who feel some type of way about this movie and other movies that I've been seeing lately, as of lately, and I'm here to speak on it. Today, when am I drinking? I'm drinking some coffee today. I ain't drank coffee in a while. It's been a minute. I said lately I've been drinking tea and might have my little liquor here and there, but it's been a minute since I drank coffee. Tastes good too, cause I got the chocolate cream. But all right, let me get into this, man. Yo, I am real. I am really getting pissed. Like when this Wonder Woman movie came out, the first thing that came to my head is here we go again with another feminist agenda going on. Here we go again. We already know the feminist movement is just getting stronger and stronger when it comes to how much of it they're trying to put out there. And here we go. Let's let's make this Marvel movie or let's make this superhero movie, but let's make the star a woman. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like, don't y'all see what they doing? Like, you know darn well these types of movies are known for male characters. Male characters. But they like, nah, let's make one for women now. And she's such a badass. And she's Wonder Woman and this and that. Man, get the hell out of here, man. Because they already know people going to go see those type of movies regardless. And they know that most of those type of movies are a male audience. All those movies, like The Hulk. All that. Wolverine, X-Men, all that. You know what I'm saying? Spider-Man. You see that coming out with a new Spider-Man, too. But notice how this came out first. Because this is what it's about, y'all. They promoting this now. Just like how they made the Ghostbusters movie and had the nerve to remove a complete male cast and replace them with straight women. Feminist women who probably don't even care about a man and what a man has to offer. That's why they don't make these movies. They don't give a damn about what they doing and what they showing. They just want to make money. They don't care. Ugh, it just bothers me, man. It just bothers me. Because I'm like, yo, so let me guess. She's, I, I haven't even seen the movie yet. But it don't matter. Because I already know what they're going to show and why. So now she's going to be coming at her like she's a badass. And she's going to be beating up on all these men, right? Because I know that's what she's going to do. I know that's what Wonder Woman is going to do in the movie. She's going to be beating a whole bunch of guys' asses, probably barely fight any women, and everybody going to be clapping and cheering. If you are a guy and you want to hurry up and run to see that movie because you think she hot or cute, you need to uh, question your manhood, yo. This is just like the whole Ronda Rousey thing. Because this is where it all... Ronda Rousey is where it really started with me when it, it talked to me exposing the feminism. And that was like, what, two, three years ago? My bad, I'm hearing somebody out there banging. But anyways, it, I, I really... Because I was a huge a USC fan. And it really disappointed me to see Ronda Rousey coming out here beating up on all these men. Being considered to be the best pound per pound fighter. You know, and I realized how they was just trying to use her to make women think they're the best. They already got women brainwashed to think that they're good and the best at everything. When it's obvious they're not. They've just been... Like I said, their hand been held their whole life, so now they think they're good when they're not. So now let's take it to the extreme. Now let's make these movies and shows where women are strong and fierce, so now women can think they can just hit any man. You see, they already kind of think that. They could just slap you, hit you, you ain't supposed to do nothing. And that shouldn't be right neither, because nobody shouldn't be hitting nobody for no damn reason. You feel me? Hmm. So I just want to let you know, uh, movies like Wonder Woman is going to try to empower women and make them feel all strong and, you know, the feminist arm. And we're, we can beat up on men. I'm serious. It will brainwash a woman to beat up on a man. And that woman might get fucked up. And I'm just trying to keep it real, like, because there's a lot of women out here who feel like they can just hit a dude and it's okay. Like, that ain't never okay. If ain't nobody put their hands on you, there, then you yeah, ain't no reason to put your hands on nobody else. That plain and simple, you know. But another thing I don't like about this movie, I don't like how she does. She's not even a real Amazon. Then they want to say, oh, she's an Amazon woman. Like Wonder Woman would, uh, Amazon woman does not look like that. An uh, Amazon woman were way thick, tall. Like we know how the Amazons look and how they were really shown. Like these girls were like 
giants like with real curves and features you know what i'm saying and that's what wonder woman was and this new wonder woman doesn't even look like it doesn't even look more believable i mean i feel like the wonder woman in a comic book was better than than this new wonder woman i'm like who is she i'm like she don't even really look strong tell me if y'all think she looks strong because i don't then so i'm on here you know so i look the movie up i want to see the ratings i want to see the reviews so i do Man, already before I even read it, I knew they was going to do this because I know this is a movie that they want to push. It ain't about if the movie is good or bad. They're going to just say certain things are good. So you watch it and you think it's good. And sure enough, I'm reading all the reviews. Everybody talking about this is the greatest movie and this and that. Like, see, a, a freaking superhero movie based off a of woman is the greatest movie all of a sudden, right? All of a sudden, but watch when Spider Man come out. I bet you Spider Man don't get as good as a rating as Wonder Woman. I bet you. I bet you. This this is finna downgrade us. They always trying to take what we are known for. Like I said, all these superhero movies were basically male roles. So why are you? All right. I mean, damn. You could at least made a Justice League and threw Wonder Woman in that. Now that would have probably been cool if y'all just made a Justice League and Wonder Woman was in it. No, nah, they couldn't do that. Nope. Nope, they had to make a whole Wonder Woman movie. Nope, couldn't do that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so I'm on there. Just go on your Google, whatever, Bing, whatever. Go type it in, Wonder Woman 2017. Look at the reviews, and you will be mind blown how every percentage of review, even Rotten Tomatoes, is like above 80%. It's like everything is high, and it's a lot of very good movies I've looked at on the same stuff, and it won't even be close. And I know some of these movies I done looked up is way better than Wonder Woman. Like classics. Classics like the Rocky movies and stuff ain't even got ratings like that, man. This is some bull. They trying to feminize y'all. And I can't believe this dude. See, this is the catch. This is the catch to try to get men because it's a superhero movie. And you know, us men, we love comic books. We love Batman, Superman, all that. You know, I grew up with that stuff too. I loved it. You know what I'm saying? So now this is the catch. Oh, you like Wonder Woman, huh? Oh, you think she's hot, huh? Oh, come on, get in. Yeah, absorb this feminism. Yeah, get get this subliminal brainwashing in your head. Going to see this damn movie. You see, people will spend their money on any damn thing. Anything. Whatever you do, don't take your girlfriend to see this movie. If you got a girl, don't take her to see this movie. Don't, because I know it's going to be some girls out there that's going to tell their boyfriends, oh, yeah, I want to go see this. Yeah. And then the guy's going to think it's going to be cool because it's a superhero. So they're going to be like, all right, come on. And then they're going to take her and then they're going to be, shoot, wishing they ain't never went. I noticed that. I'm tired of these movies. I'm tired of these same freaking abuse of like, like just like that new Resident Evil. Remember, they just came out with a Resident Evil. And guess what? Another woman beating up on freaking men. See, this is why I don't like this. And women who watch this movie and don't and who's too slow to understand that. How would you feel if it was men beating the crap out of women? Y'all say, oh, this is bad. This is this and that. But you see, it's OK in a woman's ass. For men, even if it's not real, even if it's fiction, it's still not right. Because like I said, why we can't have men just comboing the bitch? You know, how would that make them feel? Dude, superhero Batman just get to coming out of nowhere beating the shit out of Wonder Woman or some shit. Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, but it'll be an uproar then. Oh, this movie is bad. The reviews would be so bad. But Wonder Woman, I, like I said, she going, man, and you know Wonder Woman is supposed to be a strong character, right? You know, she noticed, like, she's not like X-Men, like Jean Grey. Like, she's a woman, but you know what I'm saying? She's not really known for being strong. She's known for her psychic powers and her psychic abilities. Well, why we couldn't make a Jean Grey movie? You see what I'm saying? Because they don't want women to use their minds. They want women to be as slow as slow can be. So they mess up their lives and yours. Because it's hard for people to even have families anymore nowadays because of this feminism. Because these women just still, they just won't wake the fuck up. And they too desperate for people's attention. They're too desperate. I mean, I guess that that's how life is when you had your hand, your hand held your whole life and you've been lied to your whole life about who you are and what you're supposed to want and what you do. 
I guess that that's how you're gonna act, man. Especially when everybody else is right on the same goofy train as you. And that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping these men do not fall for this. Please do not go see that. If you want to watch it, talk shit about it later, wait till it come out on Netflix, DVD or whatever, don't go to the fucking theater and see that shit. Please don't. Please don't. Because I know a dude's going to be in there coming out, Woo! Like, no. No. No, man. Another feminist fucking movie. Wake up. They got it. When you really pay attention to all of these movies, be feminist. Feminism. When you really pay attention, this ain't entertainment. Movies ain't never been for your entertainment. They always been there to brainwash you and make you think a certain way. Because in your life, you may not know what things are unless you're around them. So they, so a lot of people like to go to TV, movies, and media to try to learn what other things about. Not saying there isn't no truth out there, but most of this crap, especially from the media and the movies, is bad. And it's just going to make you believe crap. You shouldn't believe and it's going to make you feel some type of way. We all know how it feels to go to the movie and we come out feeling some type of way. So we can't say that that don't exist. And I hope you like this video. Comment, man. I just had to go in on this, man. I mean, that blew my head off when I seen that crap, man. Oh, this is such a great movie. Possibly one of the best movies of 2017. Fuck out of here. It's only because it's a woman. It's only because it's a damn woman, and they want to promote this. If it gets blown up, they'll make a Wonder Woman too. They'll try to make Wonder Woman bad, bigger than people like Captain America and stuff. I'm telling you, man, another feminist agenda. Because you know damn well it's going to be women going out to go see this movie. Like I said, this is the catch, too, because they get more money like this. Because they weren't making money when it was just men going to see these movies. Now they finna get money off of all the women and off of all the goofy men who women ask them to take them to this movie. Because you know it's going to... You know damn well you go on a date with a woman, she ain't gonna be paying you for shit, taking you to shit. Nine times out of ten, she is not. Unless she's ugly popped and way below your level. So like this video, comment again. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Man, I bet I do realize I've been getting a lot of more comments and subscribers. I'm trying to keep up with y'all, man. I appreciate this, man. It makes me happy to know that people understand where I'm coming from. And that that's love, man. Coming from the heart, yo. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace out.